Everybody wants unlimited power in their van, but with the help of Victron Energy, I'm going to make this a reality. So stick around to see how I turn this bunch of boxes and cables into an unlimited sort of solar DC to DC and 240 volt system uh, in my van. Make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already as it really helps me out and follow along in the journey. Of course, first things first, I've got to sort out my electrical board. So um, it's really just a case of putting everything on there, all the components where you want them and just finding the right holes and drilling them and then going ahead and sort of drilling all, all, the, all the holes for the cables. Okay, so what I've done here is I've uh, pre-drilled all the holes um, according to the wiring diagram where the wires are gonna come through this board and connect on. So what I want, this probably is the only exception, this wire here from the smart shunt. Um, I basically want to see no wires on the front. They're all just gonna disappear through these holes and then they'll either pop back through another hole, connect to a bus bar or to the, the mega fuse box, or the 12 volt loads will come in here. So all I've got to do now is just drill the holes down here nice and a sort of equidistanced and then um, I can basically get on with the install but what I'll do is I'll dry fit everything uh, and then I'll show you the uh, raising and lowering system that this is going to be on so that I can access it and work on it um, and then it'll be time to actually run the cable in the vehicle and, and get it installed so without uh, any more delay let's just get on with it. If you want to see how I built this secret electrical cupboard there should be a link in the top right hand corner for you now to go and have a look. Right, so this is the electrical board in situ at the moment. Obviously it's not done. I've got to bolt a couple more things on and I've got to just offset my MPPT and my um, charge controller because the mounting bolts are in the way, but it's a pretty smooth movement up, so I'll be able to work on it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And then I'll just sit in there, plenty of space at the back for the cables uh, and the inverter and etc. So I'm just gonna crack on with it now. Okay, the first thing you're going to do when installing your uh, DC to DC charger is obviously put it on your electrical board, find somewhere good for it um, to go, uh, and then you, you've got to think about running cable. So mine is in my electrical cupboard here, and my cupboard moves up and down uh, and folds away, out of the way, but I'm going to show you how to run the cable and where I've run it uh, through the vehicle and through the bonnet. So here in the bonnet of my vehicle, here's the battery. So I've run the cable through this side uh, of the bonnet. Now you can see just there, um, the black cable kind of goes, I had to drill a hole through the bulkhead there and it took me about 30 minutes to just be sure that it was, wasn't gonna be in the wrong place. And I've just heat shrinked around it for a bit of extra protection for the cable. And the live wire, you can just see it poking in the bulkhead there, goes through an existing cable hole for uh, the bonnet release but it was just too tight to get the black cable through there which which doesn't really matter because they're both going the same place once they go um, the other side of the bulkhead but as you can see I've given myself enough space here to terminate these onto the battery um, and then that's what will charge the battery essentially so I'll show you where I've gone through the vehicle now. I'm going to run it around this console it's going to go straight uh, down the side of the seat um, behind uh, the seat and then uh, clearly it's going to be under the carpet here, so I'm going to have to remove this chair. And then uh, the cabling and the trunking is just down there. So I'll then run it behind my kitchen unit. Um, and the cables already are poking out in here. And then I will feed them through the hole uh, in there and it will go straight into my um, charge controller here. So first thing we've got to do is uh, lay that cable for this. So I've got two cables coming out there, so all I need to do is um, crimp these um, with a ferrule 
and then insert them uh, into the input side, uh, which obviously is positive, negative. There, so I'll do that one. If you want to see a full video on how um, I've done my inverter and how I've installed it, I've got a sort of seven, eight minute long video that will just pop up in the top right hand corner now. So just make your way to that video to see the real in detail depth of how to install a 240 volt system uh, in your van. But in this video, we're just going to blast through it because um, it's eight minutes long and no one wants to spend eight minutes looking at that. Hey, right, it's solar panel time. So uh, just a case of stripping connectors and making these MC4 connectors. Um, I actually got the wrong one. I had to buy another one and get it sorted, but I'll check the continuity there just to make sure. Um, and then it was a case of just fitting it. So I just went outside um, and shoved it on the roof, measured it up so I knew where to draw the holes and was uh, good to go. Things were going well uh, with the solar install, um, but like a lot of things uh, with van building, it's all going well until it isn't. Right, so you won't be able to see it too clear, but I have lent this on the table at a funny angle and I've basically smashed the entire solar panel, which is really annoying uh, for several reasons, not least because I've already bolted half the roof rack to it. They also cost about 400 quid, and that means the solar is not getting done today. Um, as you can see, this is not the biggest table that I used, and that's why I've smashed it. So, lesson very hard learned. Use a bigger table when you're working on a panel. So I'm gonna make sure I use the full table next time so I don't have any risk of cracking it, but not good way to end the morning uh, especially when i had an entire day of work planned so unfortunately i'll have to buy another one and i'll have to do this in the dark next week which is exactly what i didn't want to do but here we are right so here we are next week is here so i'm just measuring up the new brackets i thought i'm going to fix them using these l brackets because it'll uh, stop it rattling like a skeleton in the biscuit tin so it's also much more secure so i'll just get on with it now and just get it on the roof and here's what those brackets look like, um, fixing the solar, the solar panel to the roof. Really good job and absolutely solid. Now what I'm gonna do is remove those cables off the back. I'm gonna drill a hole about here in the van um, and then feed the cable, hopefully, down this wall here, down here, and into where all the electronics are. Um, but that's gonna be the fight. Uh, right now and you'll just get to watch the time lapse so yeah let's go right so for the avoidance of doubt um the positive wire on the solar panel is the male connector so naturally the the cable i've got that will run from the van will have a female end on it and then the negative connection on my solar panel is the female connector so naturally the cable coming out of this gland will be the male connector so just make sure you get it right i've already drilled a hole in my roof so i'm just going to seal that up now put my cable through um and then yeah just connect it all up
Right, okay, so I've got the solar cables coming down here. They're obviously gonna be behind this panel. And then to distinguish them, they're in one of the cable runs. So they pop out just back here. So what I need to do is put them into this double pole solar breaker, which I've got for some reason is like full on like IP65 waterproof. Not gonna get any water down there, but I'm gonna shove it in the top there. So it's gonna sit on the wall under here, obviously. So it's gonna sit in there. Um, it's gonna have the two input cables in the top naturally the two outputs out the bottom it will then feed into the back of the board and into the MPPT um, and then I can connect the connectors up on the roof and then it, it should be good obviously it's night time so it's not going to work but um, you're just going to watch me now wire this up which is super simple two wires in two wires out just make sure I've got the right positive and the negative one and uh, that's that Right, that's this uh, switch wired up then. So obviously positive, negative in the top. Positive, positive, negative out the bottom. So obviously these cables run uh, just over there. You can see the green tags. So I'm just gonna feed them through the back and into the MPPT. And then I'm gonna hoover everything because that is uh, the electrical system done. And actually by extension, the van done. Um, so yeah. Right, so just gonna see if the solar works now. So I'm gonna turn on the breaker. So that's on, and now the uh, solar uh, MPPT is on. So I'm just gonna flick onto the app uh, and it will come up on the screen now with what's happening um, when it's on and I'll just talk you through it on voiceover. Right, so I plumbed it in and hit the solar breaker in about three seconds just to check that the voltage dropped off. So about now, and then the voltage absolutely sort of drops off uh, which is great news which means the all the wiring uh, worked well now uh this one is in the daylight well, it was about eight o'clock in the morning so it still wasn't great but you know much higher voltage um and yeah it's obviously going to be much greater when it's actually sunny but it was cloudy this morning but good to see that it all works so here's the um solar setup so it's looking um really good at the moment you can see the um brackets mountain brackets there i've got six of them um equidistance along the side and it's absolutely uh, rock solid looks really good and it's super low profile it sits right in line with the roof rack i'm just going to tidy up the cable ties today and that's it cable glanding all done last night so it's waterproof and it looks really good time for the big turn on So annoyingly, my battery hasn't turned up yet, but it's a uh, lithium battery from Fogstar, 230 amp hours. Um, uh, so hopefully that will be here soon. So I've obviously just mocked one up. Um, the power figures that I have for the summertime are with one hour of driving, uh, unlimited power. So I, I won't ever be able to deplete the battery bank. And in the winter, it's 14 days off grid with one hour of driving and the solar. So for me, that is unlimited because I'm not gonna spend 14 days off grid without using a hookup. So yeah, thanks again um, for watching um, and I hope you like the video and just tune in for the next one and make sure to subscribe. Thanks a lot. See you next time.